partner between Undeck Online and I believe in Deck Streaming as well. Uh, so it could be online now if you want to just get a deck.
sua saliva erupção Eu me descasso até revelar Outro em mim, mutação Quem sobrará pra contar Dessa guerra, dessa aflição Yes. Yes, BMC Radio. We are finally live. After they tried to disconnect us yesterday. But we're here doing our things. Yes, welcome along. Uh, this is the show called Dinakama Waves. Uh, live here at BMC Radio every other week, always on Tuesdays. And we have a nice show ahead of us today with my friend Leandro and his guest Sam and uh, yeah stay tuned we live here until 6 p.m. and from 5 we got yeah uh, great talks and interviews and more music yeah let's go with more music <laughs>
Essa beleza, essa mistura e essa textura única do nosso povo. Como é bom ser assim. Eu vou lavar, depois eu vou enxugar, depois eu vou armar, que é pra colocar laço de fita. cabelo é lindo e pode tudo, reflexo da raça, da diáspora e da beleza que a história oculta. Esse mistério guardado do outro lado da lua, vem meu bem, vem comigo encrespar o mundo. Dias difíceis, tempos difíceis, ah, isso nunca foi novidade pra gente. Orgulho da raça. Eu vou lavar, depois eu vou enxugar, depois eu vou amar. Nosso povo brilha, nosso povo, nosso povo, nosso povo brilha, nosso povo brilha, nosso povo brilha, nosso povo, nosso povo, nosso povo brilha. Nasci um anjo louco, um anjo solto, um anjo torto, um 
muito, muito solto, 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 doido, doido com a de avião. Hum, não, não, não. E eis que o anjo me diz, apertando a minha mão, entre o um sorriso de dente, vá, bicho, desafinar. O coro dos contentes, o bicho, desafinar. Um sorriso de dente Papis desafinar O corpo dos montes Papis desafinar Yes, yes, everyone. Welcome along, welcome along. This is the show called Nakama Waves, and we are live here from Brixton, BMC Radio. And we just uh, heard an amazing track from the legendary Jardis Macalé. Jardis Macalé is a Brazilian artist. He was here in London on Sunday doing a gig on Jazz Cafe celebrating 50 the 50th anniversary of this album here uh, yeah amazing amazing uh, artist 
I just played one tune for you. And yes, we have today a nice show ahead of us. From five to six, we're gonna be live here with Leandro and Sam Barrio Jones for a nice interview. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned, uh, invite your friends, share the links. Uh, this is the show called Dinakama Waves here at BMC Radio. And the next up is going to be from Azimut and the legendary Ivan Conti Mamao as well. Eu tô indo embora Talvez eu volte um dia Se eu volto Mas eu quero esquecer Eu preciso 
Tô minha grande Oh, minha pequena Oh, minha grande obsessão De eu vou me embora Naquele velho navio E não me importa hum. Baby Yes, yes, short intro by the voice of Jardes Macalé doing a homage to the beautiful Gal Costa, Vapor Barato. Stay tuned here at Nakama Waves. Soon we're going to start with the interview with Sam Barrow, Jones and Leandro. Sam Barrow is the drummer of Nubaya Garcia, if you don't know. Yes, Nakama Waves. Jardim Macalé. Me dê na veneta eu mato. Me dê na veneta eu morro. E volto pra curtir. Eu, eu. Ah, ah. I, I. eu volto pra curtir. Eu, eu. Ah, ah. I, I. Eu volto pra curtir. Se tocar algum shot, eu tô Se tocar um chachado, eu chacho Se cair algum pouco, eu tô E volto pra curtir Eu, ah, ah, Chego no dia está careta Chego no dia está de correr Chego no dia me arranco no outro Se eu me perder lá na catarineta Eu vou, eu mato, eu morro E volto pra frente Eu vou, eu mato, eu morro na sopa de sopa de volta pra curtir. Na sopa ralada eu volto pra curtir. Eu vou matar um morro, volto pra curtir. Mas eu já morri, volto pra curtir. Eu já morri. Eu volto pra curtir. Já morri. Chega um dia a cidade é careta Chega um dia a cidade é correr Chega um dia me arranco no outro Se eu me perder na minha catarina Eu vou, eu mato, eu morro E volto pra curtir, eu vou Na sopa de sopa, eu volto pra curtir. Na sopa ralada, eu volto pra curtir. Eu vou 
Yes, 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 people. So, yeah. Once more, shout out here to Jardes Macalé, celebrating 50 years of this album. And, yeah, it was repressed now by a record label from German, Germany. Sorry, I forgot the name of the record label. But, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it was a nice show last Sunday on Jazz Café with Jardes Macalé. So, we heard two tracks and... Yeah, now we have here Leandro on the studio. Some, uh, so welcome, guys. A uh, huge pleasure to share the space here to you uh, with you guys. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks a lot, Leo, for you know inviting him and bring such a good good guest again for the show. If you are listening, uh, it's gonna be a nice part of the show now. So make sure you don't go anywhere and invite your friends. Share the links, and yeah, welcome, Leo. Once more, thanks again. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Big up, BMC Radio. We, we in the house. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, man. Um, yeah, it's good to be back after a whole, like, a whole, no, the winter is still here, but, you know, since last year, right? It was the last show with Jermaine, my guy. Do you know Jermaine? No. Wait, Jermaine who? Jermaine, the, the steam down. Oh, yeah. Jermaine yeah, Marvel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My guy. Sorry. Lovely person. And to be back here with, with a such a legend, hey, hey, Sombaro <laughs> Jones. <laughs> Happy Big to be here, me. man. Thanks yeah, for no, coming, thank, man. No, thank you so much for having me down, bro. Means a lot, means yeah, a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, so, mate, tell, tell a bit about yourself. Like, who, how do you describe yourself? Like, uh -huh. who, who are you? Hey, so I'm uh, Sam Barrel Jones. I'm, a, I'm mainly a drummer, but I also a DJ, and I've been getting into production and composition. Right. Um, Guess I've been playing around London for a good like ten years now, and then uh, further further afield with uh, right now I'm working mainly with Nabaya Garcia, amazing tennis sax player, and so um, sick. Yeah, yeah, I would say she's amazing. one she's one of the best. Yeah, I think she, I think so too, man. The best. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah. also uh, Obong Jaya as well will be uh, mm. kicking off this year soon. Um, yeah, he's incredible too, man. Amazing. Got a bit um, summer coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not not crazy, crazy yet, but I imagine most. I'm I'm gonna be real busy like autumn this year, but summer we still got some cool festivals coming up, man. So nice. yeah, really looking forward to getting back on the road a little bit. Yeah, getting, getting to the festivals and uh, that's my uh, time of the year, man. That's when like barrel comes out, bro. Yeah, <laughs> uh, man, I fucking love. We always talk about that as well. Festivals is when we feel alive. Yeah, well, we Brazilians, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. We love party. Hey, yeah, yeah. The no, sunshine. It's in your blood, bro. <laughs> so if I have any tickets, you yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. We can. My talk. guy, that nah, big up, big up. Uh, mate, that's sick. So tell me a bit, like, when you were young, right? So you you told me before you from. So you're half British, half Jamaican. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how was the inspiration to become a drummer? Was drums your first instrument? Ah, oh, man. Wow. Okay. Yeah, no, we're going deep, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah so we're going no, deep. Drums was, was <laughs> not my first instrument at all. What was it? Um, I used to play the oboe. Bro. I was going like, to joke. <laughs> I was going to joke. I was going to say <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dead ass, bro. Like, no way. Not a lot of people know this about me, but um, the oboe. Yeah. yeah, as a kid, so man. classical. Yeah, yeah. Well, this the story behind it is that um, back when um, I used to go to uh, Lucia Music Service on on Saturdays, they used to have a really nice, really nice setup where they would. Um, How old were you then? I think. Uh, maybe like eight nine something young young real young my parents um are not yeah, yeah <laughs> my yeah. parents are not musical at all but um uh, yeah, but they really encouraged learning an instrument um 
and me being a bit of an annoying little kid i was like <laughs> what is what is the worst instrument i can pick to be like annoying to my family <laughs> so i picked the oboe man i was like damn yeah that sounds pretty wild let me let me let me try that shit. and that's uh, mad do you have oh, any brothers bro. or just you uh three older sisters three so, older sisters. So two of them played cello and and my eldest sister played a bit of piano as well i'm guessing they were um, a little influence for you yeah yeah well no nah, man i'm i'm when i was a kid like my whole musical journey started out of spite like i was i just really wanted to be as annoying as possible <laughs> um but then the oboe thing didn't the really youngest. work out yeah 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 the youngest, youngest well. syndrome bro <laughs> oh, okay so you know you know man no, it's, it's, it's it was it was it was bad for my sisters man but um but yeah oboe didn't work out I, it was it's, it's a super hard instrument it's really a beautiful sound when when you're good but if you're not good it's, it's oboe horrible. is the first one that plays the notes to for everybody to tune in an orchestra is yeah it? yeah and the reason for that is because the oboes are normally the most out of tune <laughs> so every, everyone goes off the oboe but that, that's what they told me anyway fair, um, fair, fair. but then yeah so that didn't work out and then when i was about 10 11 tw tw i can't remember but somewhere around then um i picked up drums instead um, to make more noise to make more noise yeah 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 but then but then yeah it was like kind of a slow start started off just like oh it's just this thing i do on saturdays yeah because uh, my mum wants me to do it but um yeah, yeah getting yeah, to yeah. about 15 16 like met some really cool people and and then it was like oh no this is this is actually what i want to do man so so yeah yeah it was a bit of a, a bit of a, a rough journey at the beginning but yeah we got there <laughs> And so where, where did you start learning? Was on the same place you started learning drums? Yeah, yeah. So it was, uh, I can't can't big up Lucian Music Service enough, man. They were yeah. really incredible. Um, nice. So like, do you still in contact with like any teachers? I'm, or? I'm trying to get back in touch, actually. So yeah, 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 I really yeah. want to go down and just bring a few of the guys that I was with. Like there's so many amazing musicians came out of there. People, you know, like mm -hmm. James and Mark Mollison were involved. Ah, uh, sick. So you know them from long oh, time. Oh, long time. Yeah, yeah. We went to second school together as well but like uh, people like Ac axel kane Lidstrom. axel um who Love else them. was there amazing drummer daniel john was there uh, um yeah lo loads of great musicians sick. but i went into dylan jones dylan yeah. jones he's a Trumpet. killer yeah we we spent a lot of time together at lucian music service um when was the moment that you were like okay so drums is the i want to just go for drums now and i want to be a fucking drummer when 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 was the click <laughs> i think that was around like end of secondary school before college age because it was a bit of a turning point where i was like uh academically before then i was doing okay mm -hmm. um and i like, wasn't wasn't really like putting too much effort in but like i i, I kind of slid through that stuff but it got to a level times man and that shit was hard <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 and then i was like you know what if i'm gonna if i'm gonna like take anything like mm -hmm. to a high level it's got to be something that i enjoy I was like, okay, yeah, drums. I like, I like this. Like, so it will give me a bit more drive to Sick. really put effort in. And yeah, I guess it was around then, man. And how about like you were part of Tomorrow Warriors? Is it something to do with the Luisian or the Tomorrow Warriors come when? Oh, did you, did yeah, you do yeah, Tomorrow yeah, Warriors yeah. as well? Did yeah, you? no, yeah. big, big, big up Warriors, man. So, um, wow, it was what's actually Jamie, Jamie, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Janine, Janine, yeah. Uh, and Gary Crosby, so nice. both OBEs now. That are yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but they sent. Um, it was actually Moses Boyd and Peter Edwards came to my secondary school, and yeah, uh, James, James and Mark Mollison were there. Axel was there. Dylan was there, and they did a free workshop for us. And like, Moses, like, yeah, Mo she, yeah, he was he was really young as you i believe or so he's, he's a few years older than yeah, me not, yeah. not much but he yeah he was young at the time so i must have been like 16 so he was like max like 19 or something like that maybe Sick. 20. but he yeah he came down and they gave an amazing free workshop and encouraged us all to go up to waterloo where they uh at the um queen elizabeth Hall, where they run yeah where they run those sessions yeah um and yeah that was a big part of my jazz education man that's so where from there everyone. you were like yeah that can happen it kind of gave gave a lot of like built a lot of confidence in all of us to be honest i think we can all like definitely cite that as like a big contributing factor to like why we're like professional musicians now man like without them we wouldn't be in this position at all yeah so yeah big up them for sure man yeah and was it that that you met dubai garcia and all of that yeah exactly so um one great thing that the warriors did was if they ever had any performance opportunities they would 
tried to get a mixed level of musicians in the band. So in there was one particular case where it was like kind of just like a corporate event, not like a super cool gig to do. Yeah. But they were like, look, instead of us just sending four of our best, let's send the buyer and some of the young ones. So I was picked out, uh, me and my boy Tommy Ramon and uh, Matale Chashi, I think it was as well. That's another killer, bro. Mm. Um, but yeah, we were a bit younger and less experienced than the buyer at the time. But so she like really like took us on the road wing showed us the ropes and like how to do a good gig and how to play these tunes and stuff and that was the first time maybe i met her before but that was the first time we ever played together and like yeah definitely fond memories of that one for sure man yeah and then it just clicks type of vibe when yeah i mean i don't know if i ever had mm. like a real click moment mm. but definitely like through like people like gary and and whatnot like mm -hmm. really looking after me they kind of encourage the kind of steady build yeah, rather yeah. rather than like okay boom you're ready now it's like no we're always Slowly. here for you like uh, yeah so it was a very steady steady development grounds, actually nice yeah grounds. yeah 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 great foundation so i mean i mean the click like with um with nubaya was it and then you guys were always playing together or no you know, so that she called you that happened a lot later man that I was see. um okay so so f i believe in her first band she had moses boyd on drums and obviously incredible and then another yeah. incredible drummer femi colioso ah, femi, big up. yeah yeah man and then and then both of them <laughs> like there's a record with both of them on and they were gigging that for a while when they could when they had the budget obviously it's a big band um right but then it became it was just femi then Femi started to get a little bit too busy doing a lot of stuff with ezra is this before georgia smith days but yeah like he, w he was doing a lot of stuff so then yeah out of the blue i just got a call from the buyer it's like oh no 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 no! actually no, let me rewind <laughs> so there was a kind of click moment actually right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so uh. i can't remember when this was man it must have been like 2018 something like that maybe even 2017 right. yeah probably probably around 2017 i was playing with uh zara mcfarlane amazing singer like yeah super super cool Great band with Binker Golding, um, Peter Edwards, and Max Luter. How oh, that happened as well, like that was through Moses. So uh, Moses was playing in that band, mm. and yeah, I was like me and Moses got to know each other a little, mm. a little bit, and uh, he was yeah getting busy with his own stuff. So he he went he got me involved with that, which was That's a so massive sick. blessing, yeah. And then um, yeah. and then so we would we were doing a gig where Zara was playing before Nabaya in Brussels, and in zara's band we've been playing a lot of kind of like dub and jamaican influenced music sick so so nabaya heard me playing that and was like oh snap like i need someone that can do a bit of this and jazz and whatever could like calypso soca whatever it is the all in this mix. big pot and yeah so like see see me do that she was like oh cool i might be able to call this guy so then i think it was just like a yeah a few months later or something she gave me a call um we went up to stroud jazz wicked wicked little festival um and, and yeah no one. rehearsals <laughs> she was just like yo like my music i think yeah what did she say it's lash but with dynamics <laughs> so like, for anyone else like that doesn't know what lash, i mean it's just like like strong like yeah what, it's like, like strong playing like uh -huh. like uh like rhythmically involved hard hitting like like intense yeah. intensity but with with dynamics and like lower bits and uh -huh. harder bits you know like just just kind of like yeah. a kind of uh nuanced balance but like yeah the way she said that was just so open because yeah literally no rehearsals i i barely knew what i was doing but she kind of gave me that like that space it was like look as long as you hit it hard sometimes and you <laughs> calm down sometimes we can make this work and i believe that you can do that and then yeah from there that was like it, it, ah, wait, cool. it, she said that you guys went to play what a festival wait or what yes this is just before a festival bro this uh, is like uh, like like uh like a pretty pretty big slot <laughs> at stroud jazz like which is like a wicked wicked festival and yeah like That's... yeah no rehearsals I, I can't remember if we even had a proper sound check yeah like it was it was mad intense i probably sounded terrible on that one but <laughs> but, um, no, this, but she called me back so <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you see must have done something right <laughs> mate this this thing with like jazz musicians you know is just uh it just amazes me um now i'm getting used to it because i'm around you guys a lot so but you never would see this type of things happen like you 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 see more happening nowadays well at least i see friends like ah uh, just being called like one hour before the gig and mm like you said just 
you know, because you guys listen a lot. You guys yeah. there. You guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, just like used to be listening. And, and I don't know. There's, a, I think, the exciting part of, you know, just be throwing there on the blue and we're going to figure out. Yeah, gonna, yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I think that's where a lot of the excitement of jazz music comes, you know. Like, yeah. There's something amazing to be said about seeing a, ba seeing a band that's really, really well re rehearsed and like they know exactly what they're doing or they've been on the road for so-and-so years playing the same music and they just know it back to front. But there's also something really exciting about like seeing someone that's on edge. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. Like, 100%. I've seen some, some moments on tour where like, oh, I know, oh, that that drummer he's never played this set before or whatever yeah and then I, that that's the ones where i'm like i gotta go see that yeah i gotta i gotta see what this guy brings to the table the instincts yeah 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 and how yeah how they react to, to all this stuff that they don't really know what to do and like i've seen some amazing gigs of people doing doing that like just taking over in the last moment man it's yeah super impressive i love it um and i think i think that's part of like that's that's for like a lot of the good side of jazz education is is being able to respond and react and uh, improvise in these like very high pressure situations and my favorite jazz musicians can all do that. I think yeah, that that's that's a big thing for me is like mm. yeah when you don't know what's happening how 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 are you gonna respond to that? Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I love it, bro. Ah, like, uh, that's beautiful, mate. Talking about so who, what what is your oh, gosh, so many questions, but what 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 is the what are your favorites then? Do you have is it is it any? Well, let's go like then. Um, who inspires you, or what is that? Any, someone you always come back to to listen to is that a, a, a particular musician, artist? Mm -hmm. How do you get yourself inspired? Or and, and I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, great question, man. Um, well, I'm inspired by like a whole huge array of music, but I would say just in the context of like people I know and jazz musicians in London right now, I, I'm really inspired by Joe Armand Jones for one, man. He's he, so sick, he, mate. He, um, he yeah, plays music that I like, keys, man. man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. He's, he's dope, he's so creative, he's so open, his ears are always open. Chill Can as be, well. Yeah, man, yeah, he, he's so, so Down chill. Down to earth, yeah. Yeah, really nice guy, but like his ears are always open. He can play really melodically or like super rhythmically or both at the same time. Or just rip the whole or, fucking keys. Yeah, 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 just rip at the universal new asshole, bro. Like, <laughs> I, I've seen it happen, man. Um, but yeah, yeah, we 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 played a lot in the Byers band, but like I'm talking about going going to see his band, like um, the, yeah, and they just play the kind of sounds that I like, man. We're we're into a lot of the same stuff, so he um, I'm always if, when I when I'm writing or something, I'm never trying to copy what he does, but I'll put on a track of his as a reference, be like, oh okay, the bass sounds really cool in there, or oh, there's six things happening at once, or in this tune there's only three things happening at once. Oh, how does he make that sound? How does he kind of make that sonic environment? And how can I like mm -hmm. do my thing in a way where like I can put on his record and then my record and like uh -huh. I feel like the quality is yeah. there, not necessarily the copying the style or whatever, sure. but yeah. but just just like as a reference, he's he's one of my guys. But That's yeah, there's there's a lot yeah. of amazing musicians out in London yeah. at the moment, man. And how about drummers? It. Any drummers drummers that I know? Again, man. They, well, let me start with a couple of young guys. Right. And you need to check out. There's my brother King. <laughs> I can't. Uh, even, I don't even remember his his surname because he's, he's, he's. We've only met a few times. Yeah. We played together a couple of times. Like I've had him round to the studio just to just lash some drums. But this brother King, he's at Trinity right now. Mm. Keep an eye out for him and his band Nats. Really, Nats. really cool band. Uh, I think. I think they they might have a jazz refresh coming up soon, or maybe they just did one. Mm. But um, keep an eye out for those guys. But. But yeah, I mean, drummers that I like in London, I mean, there's the ones that we all love, like yeah. the Yusuf, Moses, Femi, all, all of them. But um, yeah. one of my guys that I feel like definitely in the jazz scene is slightly slept on is mm. Tom Skinner. Tom Skinner. Uh, yeah, yeah. So a lot of people might know him from mm. his work with Sons of Kemet. Mm. But yeah, that nah, he's sick. Yeah, yeah. Hot, like amazing. Again, yeah. super creative, really like ears open. Yeah. But then uh, he... He made, makes records under Hello Skinny as well, which are like uh. more electronic produced kind of stuff, but still with like a really nice flavor like of, of his jazz influences and stuff like that. Mm. Um, he's definitely inspired me a lot. And, and yeah, he's playing with The Smile now with, with Tom York and um, 
Really? Tom, um, I didn't what's, know. What's his name? I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, yeah this big, big stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, really, really amazing. Fucking he, sick. Yeah, he really deserves it, man. I was super, super happy for him. Um, but yeah, those are some of my guys over here. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah. Solid, mate. Yeah. Shall we? Shall we put one tune of one or two? Do you want to play anything or? or? I, I don't mind, bro. Like, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe, if, maybe if you got one ready, man, come come through. Yeah, 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 cool, yeah. I'll cool, get one ready cool. for for the next break. Big up, big up. We come back soon, nice my one. guy. Big up, yeah, hey, man. It's always a pleasure, my G.
yes yes people so this one we just heard is a remix of Nubaya Garcia and the remix was done by a Brazilian producer and DJ friend of ours DJ Tahira uh, and the name of the track is Stand With Each Other by Nubaya Garcia but yeah and then after Sam he's gonna play another track and then we will be back with more talk and more interviews in here so stay tuned Oh, sorry, this is, this is not me. <laughs> this is Evergreen, Dark Arcs Remix, Land, uh, Landlord Ruxpin, Bear Man. A lot of people love this record. <laughs>
One, two, one, two, we back. Yay. Yay. We're back <laughs> with the legends. Were you like hitting what uh puns and shit like that when you were young? No, you no. said it was the opening no. the first one, yeah. No, <laughs> not at all, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, like bro, I I don't even know if like drumming was even ever natural to me, but yeah. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of hard work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, fuck. I, it. I love well, I'm. What, I would say drums. I, I love drums, mate. I use. Well, I'm a like guitar player, right? Mm -hmm. But um, I, I teach drums as well. Uh, for in primary schools, yeah. Ah, yeah, of course. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. one of the most I enjoy a lot, mate. You know, mm -hmm. and there's a few there. Like, it's, there's a you know, I would say there's like five girls. No little ones, mate. They 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 doing well, mate. Yeah, good, like, good, you know, good, like good. When you say you you ask them, yo, you did you did they? <laughs> Are you pressing at home or something? Yeah. Is that me? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a good feeling, bro. You know like, you're probably a better teacher than me. It <laughs> feel, no, it feels like I take the pressure off because I don't know. It's like it's not my. If I'm teaching yeah, guitar, I feel a little yeah. bit more pressure to ah uh, guitar player. No, I hear that. I hear that. And bro. then drums, even like when I go to I don't know, there's a pub close to my house, mm -hmm. Luna Lounge, whatever. And then when I go there, sometimes there's a jump. I jump on the kit, and I feel like. No pressure mm. at all, because I'm like, I'm not a drummer, don't worry. So. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No, I, I, I feel a lot of pressure, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you, you, yeah, because you, that's, that's the, your label kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, kinda... yeah, I guess it's my thing, but like, yeah, yeah I, I still get a little bit nervous every now and then, you know, depending on what it is. I mean, so it's good, man. It's great that you can get out of that feeling, of, like, mm. and just, just, just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, I do enjoy it, of course, but, but like, there's, um, it, like drums can be like a really liberating instrument to play just like physically i love i love that side of it as well <laughs> I know. just like yeah really like just letting that shit out like, yeah i really really enjoy it man i have said i used to play my brother's drum kit back in brazil in the garage band we had that and I, when he wasn't at home i would just <laughs> get all my demons out yeah because you know when he was there as well <laughs> he's not gonna let you do it <laughs> yeah yeah you know fucking drums bro. Yeah, mate, yeah. <laughs> But um, what I was going to say, mate. So, uh, so you said you still feel, feel pressure in that. So uh, you're playing some big festivals now, and how is it, man? Mm. That that sea of people in front of you. Do you have any rituals before go, going to stage? Yeah, yeah do you nah, meditate? Interesting. Do you, interesting, you do man. Some, or you? I don't know. What um, was your thing? I think yeah. There's a few things. I mean, I would say the one common thing from every band that I work with is. I tried to listen to some music on a speaker before we go on stage and like normally Which kind of music bro normally it's like the complete opposite of whatever i'm about to play like 100 um otherwise you kind of trying to i don't know it's get inspiration but I trying to no. bro i just need energy man so like even if i was doing uh back when i was playing a lot with binker golding amazing tenor sax player mm -hmm. but like in a more uh he, his kind of stuff's very like american influenced like jazz it, it, maybe not necessarily all of it swinging but like he's mm. really into country music and folk and all this kind of stuff so nice. those kind of influences came out and like that's what the music sounds like yeah but then before the show i'm listening to like buster rhymes or something like yeah. <laughs> just trying to get like <laughs> as, <laughs> as hyped up as possible bro like that that was that was my thing like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, it still is my thing but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. What else, he's man? Sick, he's like, sick. just gotta do my warm-ups and stuff like there's that's the boring stuff but I just try to like so stretching. Yeah, a bit of stretching and whatnot. But I did those and shit. Yeah, that kind of crap. But like, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of these festivals, like the changeovers are so small. The time you get between like one band finishing and the next one coming on, mm. you don't have a lot of time to think a lot of the time. It's like, okay, let me just make sure the drums are set up. Let me make sure this is okay. Let me make sure I can hear the other guys and all that stuff. Yeah. And that's the most important thing. So sometimes like before I've even blinked, the set has started. <laughs> I'm just there like, whoa. Like, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, weren't any rituals today, but yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. I, I I can't I can't do my gigs without like there being coffee somewhere and I need uh -huh. I need lots of like water and maybe a little drink as well. Especially as a like, drummer, mate. Fuck your yeah, towel. Yeah, yeah, towel's gotta be there, that kind of thing, man. Like 100%. I've just started wearing string vests on all my gigs now because like a lot of the time I get so sweaty, bro. It's oh, mate, gross. Especially <laughs> like on the summertime, 
minute. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And drum is always there, mate. He always there. Man, I don't get no breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't get no damn breaks. You might <laughs> get like a drum solo, and then you need to do even more. Yeah, let's go again, man. Like, that's that's one thing that like drummers yeah, need need more pay, bro. And that is, yeah, like, I'm mate. advocating for drummers to get paid more. Yeah, <laughs> mate. No, but it's all it's good though, man. I like yeah, it. Like that, that's the way I like it. I wouldn't. I don't like stopping and starting so much anyway. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I I enjoy that kind of like relentless just <laughs> just going yeah. at it you know what i mean yeah and especially with the bias like yeah mm. it's, it's kind of pedal to the metal a lot of the time man and i love that like mm. it, i just sometimes you've got short sets as well you know yeah. like, like i can't remember but we did a couple of festivals last year it was like half an hour it's like okay oh, yo, really? yeah half an hour mm -hmm. you gotta go for it yeah, <laughs> like yeah, like yeah, you gotta yeah. you gotta leave these guys with like some kind of impression before you leave so it's like okay, let's go. Yeah, 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 man. Let's like let's let's play and use that time. You you one of the first musicians I saw when on that gig that I I, I told you about that was on a church or something that I played after with uh, impossibilities or something. Mm -hmm. But when I saw you perform, I saw you were really playing with your heart. You know what I'm saying? Like you you weren't there. You know, totally flow mm. and shit like that. And you were probably one of the first persons I saw. And then after, I think it was Eugene Skiff. That was someone. Oh, Do you know yeah. Eugene Skiff? I know Eugene, yeah. He's one yeah, of my mentors wow. as well. Oh, you know, okay, yeah. mad, mad, mad. He's, he's a cool guy. Eugene's a really good guy. Look How did you meet him, Eugene Skiff? Uh, big up, Eugene Skiff. Big up, Eugene, man. He's good a legendary. Energy. Very sweet guy. Oh, um, mate, yeah. I think, I, I mean, I was blessed to be part of a lot of like great musical programs growing up, like a lot mm. of cool, free education and whatnot. So. Mm. I remember I used to... Was it through Guildhall as well in the this, summertime? This wasn't actually Guildhall. This no. was another course that I, I, I was lucky enough to be part of called Aldborough Young Musicians. Um, it was a, Aldborough is a beautiful seaside town in Suffolk where like just a little bit inland they've got an amazing concert hall called Snape Maltings. And they ran uh, yeah half-term music courses for young musicians. Sick. And I met, yeah, I met Eugene there when I was about 16 or something. And um, yeah. For those that don't know, he's a, he's amazing. Eugene Skeef is amazing percussionist, vocalist, workshop leader, um, and like one of the most positive guys I've ever met in my life. Man. Super encouraging, really, amazing, really man. inspiring. Um, yeah. I don't know if he has he got music released. Oh, I don't think so. It's one of them ones, so. man. He's yeah. just about. He's you just, know, he's he's just, just kind of that guy. <laughs> yeah, he just. The, the, I met him for Guildhall as well, and he was uh, doing, you know, uh, workshops and like. Yeah. And then on the the workshop started, and then he wasn't there anymore. He was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and yeah, he's yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he brought yeah, his no, uh, Benny Bao as dude. well. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he gave me a uh, one jump bear mate that yeah. I played with my dad. Wow. My dad's not very well the man one, so oh, yeah, he was man. like, uh, he knew I wanted a jumbe and stuff like that, and he he fixed one jumbe. Oh, me that's amazing, shit. man! Yeah, that's and the kind of guy he is, there, like in a nutshell. So like, giving, so yeah, giving. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, he's sick. Um, talking about careers and that, big gigs and shit. Mm. Um, tell me a couple of highlights, good moments, uh, funny moments, or some <laughs> something that went wrong. Oh man, oh. stuff that went wrong and okay, shit. Okay, no, this this is, this is a good one. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last year I was playing at Glastonbury with uh, Obong Jr. Yeah, and, uh, and mate. but also Yasmin Lacey. Um, Sick. Uh, yeah, amazing singer. Big up Yaz. Um, but the <laughs> so you did a couple of gigs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the the problem was I think I wasn't really <laughs> prepared for the amount of gigs, and uh, <laughs> it was a bit of a stressful day. We were playing on one stage. Uh, I can't remember. And then. And then we were we were going to do a BBC BBC set, um, which was on like the other side of the festival, bro. So wasn't it on the on the lockdown? No, nah, no, you're nah. talking about last year. No, said. last year, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry. So twenty twenty three, okay, and yeah. um, so we finished one slot, and then it's like okay, boom, we've got to get to the next slot now. We got to go go do this. We're just playing one tune, but it's right before Elton John. And it's gonna be on BBC. And I'm like, okay, cool. Wow. We actually went and sound no checked pressure. for that. Yeah, no pressure, no, no pressure. No pressure, mate. Oh, good. We <laughs> we we <laughs> sound checked for that gig before, and f foolish, foolish me, man. This is one of the worst uh, yeah, worst yeah. mistakes I've made in my life. I thought I left my drumsticks there, but 
I didn't, bro. Imagine so that. so we, we get we get to this BBC stage now and and we got we've got like an hour and a half of just chilling and I I, yeah. I haven't gone to check if my sticks are there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it gets to about ten, 10 minutes before the show. I'm like, shit. Oh, like, mate. I, I just couldn't find them. So I was like, guys, like I was asking everyone around there, like, have you seen any sticks? Has anyone just picked up a pair of sticks? I'm sure I left them up there. Um, oh shit. My uh, the tour manager's like, oh man, like we need to go get these sticks. I'm like, look, no, 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 no we can, we can figure this out. Yeah. So, <laughs> on, a, on the drummer is also yeah, maybe maybe someone's about like. Let's but just you also have sticks, your right? your your ones that you I don't know the weight, the feel, the head. Yeah, or so, or I, you, I'm, or not, you I'm okay, not man. I'm, I'm okay, so I'm not worried about that. But I'm like, look, let, let's see if we can find some sticks. Right. Ask the BBC like uh, the, stage the manager. She, find some some sort of stick. Well, she was so nice. <laughs> some she was tree like, or something. She's like, look, look, I've got I've got chopsticks. I've got <laughs> I've got paintbrushes. <laughs> like like what like what? Can you think of anything else we, that we could use? I'm like, look, look, look. Got uh, some blue <laughs> chopsticks, <laughs> man. I, I was like, look, I really appreciate it, but. I'll, I'll use my hands, man. I'll, I'll just use my hands. I've done it before. Um, Did you? Like, it's possible. Like, yeah. like, you can still play kit with your hands. It's just, yeah, like, yeah. It's just a different sound. But oh, I was like, fuck. the particular you, tune we were hands doing. As well, like, in the rings. Yeah, yeah, I've got pretty soft hands, man. If, if you're talking to like a djembe drummer or something, those guys, their fingers are built like, <laughs> it's like a brick. concrete, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> super hard. But, um, but I'm like, look, okay, I can get through it for one tune. It's four minutes or something. And the tune's kind of soft. So I'm like, Fair. You know what? Let me just style ah, it out. Sick, I'll just, sick. I'll just, I'll just look as fucking confident as I can. Yeah, and we'll be good. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't even tell Yaz that this was happening because I didn't want to stress her out. I was just like, you know what? Let yeah. me, just, let me just get through this yeah. and then we'll deal like with an artistic after. Artistic choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I played a tune. And loads of people didn't even notice. <laughs> and I was like, yes. I was like, yes. Like, I like maybe kind of got away with it. Yeah. And then I, th I can't remember who was presenting it. I'm not going to bait her out. Yeah. Um, I do remember who it was, but no, let, let me not fair, <laughs> say fair, any names. Fair, but fair, 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 fair. but at the end of at the end of the, <laughs> the show, yeah. Um, he's like, oh, well done, yeah, it's been lazy. Oh, incredible bands, great, rare, rare, rare. Oh, the drummer forgot his sticks though. It's crazy the things that go on a glass of I was like, oh! no. <laughs> like, I, was, I was like, I was dying inside, oh, man. Like just trying to hold a smile. Getting away with it. And then, oh <laughs> man, I was this close, bro. I was this close to getting away with that shit. And then, but and then how far through someone found it, some sticks? No, 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 no. My sticks were on the other stage, bro. I, <laughs> I left that shit behind. That was but my. There wasn't fault. any other drummer around in some shit. No, on the no, background. not at that time, bro. Oh, Unfortunately, man. there was like there was no one else at that time. Fuck. So, <laughs> yeah, basically. I, I got baited out, but it was my yeah. own, it was my own fault. But um, fair, the amount fair. of people I've run into, like I just went into a rehearsal studio the other day and was like, oh shit, I recognise you. I'm like, oh cool, cool. Yeah, you were on Glastonbury and you didn't have any drumsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but now, like, yeah, it is what it is, bro. Like, oh I, mate, it, it what had a to be. Mad one. And 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 of all sets it could have been, it was just before Elton John. So yeah. like everyone was watching. So yeah, yeah. I imagine yeah, there's yeah. gonna be a few more people that I catch. That I'm gonna be like, oh, yo, yeah, that's, that's you, isn't it? <laughs> oh um, man, that's a yeah. pretty dumb story, mate. Yeah, I was bad, man. It was bad. There's, there's a lot of those, man. They come back, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shit happens on the road, but like, you just got, got to deal with it. Yeah, like, you just got, you just got to make it work. So, what, so you, uh, I'm guessing you, you went to. I think Tokyo as well, or some shit like that. With, with oh yeah, yeah. How yeah. was how was oh, it to man. go around? Do you have a like, favorite country you've been well, to? Or? Well, man, I'm actually wearing um a t-shirt. Uh, from it. from this amazing bar called Bar Nightingale in Tokyo in uh, Shinjuku, mm. um, there's this amazing little little area called Golden Guy where it's like I don't know like f four or five kind of alleyways like in a really condensed area. Sick. And every single that vibe. thing, yeah, yeah, the vibe is strong. But every single thing in these buildings is a tiny little bar, like kind of the same size as the, the booth we're in today. I don't yeah. know if you can see it, but it's tiny. Yeah, yeah. So you can have like max like five people in the bar. <laughs> Crazy place, like really, really, really fun place to go late night. Yeah. Just kind of hop around the bars because I'm, I'm talking like there's like 200 bars. If they're this small, the amount of these you can fit in a road that's like, I don't know, 50 meters long. Wow. It's a lot of bars, bro. And so like you go in one bar and it's, and it's got a theme. Like every, yeah, every bar's got like something special about it. Right. So you go in one and it's like 
like, oh yeah, yeah, like there's a lot of David Bowie posters in this in this bar. It's like, yeah, uh, this is this is the Bowie bar, right. and we only listen to Bowie. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. okay, uh, what like always? He's like, yeah, that's always. it, that's it. <laughs> like we never play anything else. Don't ask for anything. The else. guy serving the beers is yeah. even use a uh, finger. Yeah. The ears <laughs> just life from <laughs> Mars. <laughs> <laughs> like every everything in there was Bowie. So like you just go in there, get one drink, go to the next place. Like Fair. that was a really fun place. But yeah, this this particular spot, Bar Nightingale. Like there's a sign on the door that says, "If I don't know you, don't come in." It's, <laughs> it's oh, like shit. hardcore. Like they don't want anyone Some in Yakuza there. Some yakuza shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, like nice with tattoos I, and yeah, shit. Yeah, no, no, it, it was a vibe. <laughs> it was like it, it was like heavy metal decor. You right. go in there and there's like two massive TVs playing like um, super uh, like abstract Japanese film with no sound. And then two gigantic speakers blasting like the most abrasive like techno shit, way too loud. Wow. Like, like, <laughs> like it was, and five but, people inside. Yeah, and five people inside, man. <laughs> oh, no, this is another good story actually. So we, we went into this bar and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, there's some kind of wizard looking uh, like American dude in there, and he's like being real quiet. It's just three of us and him. Mm -mm -mm. And then and then this uh, this particular song comes on, mm -mm. and. Um, my boy Max is like, oh my God, this is like my favorite song. I love this band. They're called Survivor. Uh. And, and then the guy gets up and he's like, we don't just live, we survive. And then the beat drops. And then we're like, whoa, that was a really weird, weird thing to do. And then we got chatting to him, and that was the fuck, that was the guy from the band. Oh it shit! It was him. He was in there. So that was the guy that did all the music for um, Stranger Things, no and way. was like, my boy Max is like one, one of the, like his favorite bands. Oh, was just in this tiny little crazy bar in Tokyo. Wow. Bro, so. Yeah, man, that was that was a special trip, man. Wow. It's mad, isn't it? When places... Small world, bro. <laughs> it's more world, it's more bars and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big yeah, speakers yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good that's some mad man. shit, mate. Wow, that's mad. Um, and, yeah, Tokyo, man, it must be amazing to go there, mate. It's um, a blessing to travel that much, yeah. Yeah. I, I would say, Tiago, to, to start doing... doing. We're going we're gonna to ask you a question here that you might you might want to, to do a little thing with it. So tell us uh, what what you've been up to. You've been like you're doing some parties, producing yeah, some yeah. amazing <laughs> shit. So it's just like I appreciate you guys for this, helping me out with this shameless, oh, shameless well, plug. But nah, like, man, uh, you gotta do your thing in it. So you I'm putting on a night. I'm putting on a night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Twenty uh, third of March, Peckham Audio. Get get down. It's gonna. Uh, I've got it's myself and uh, five amazing DJs, a super special guest that I can't announce, but if you're smart e. and you look at what else I'm doing roughly around that time, mm. you might be able to figure out who the other DJ is. But we've got uh, Rudy Kreswick, amazing bassist DJ, uh, Mallard, aka Michael Shrimplin, he's back in town, <laughs> Wendy Rose, killer, um, we got Des uh, Dessert Island DJ, my guy Cal McCulloch, he's he's on it, and Sick. DJ Double O, I think that's everyone, I hope that's everyone, but yeah, um, uh, yeah it should be a really good night. Also, I'm with GW Jazz, 20th of March, Peckham, CLF Art Cafe. It's like 8 p.m. or something. Check me out on my Instagram and my website. I'll put it all up. It's all going to be there. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> big up, big yeah, up, big up, big up. Big up, you. <laughs> sick, sick, sick. Oh, mate. Awesome. Is that so you travel? What did you? Is there anywhere you haven't been yet that you really want to go traveling, touring, shit? And also tell about about touring. Like, I, I really want to go touring. Is one of dreams as a kid. What is it that? W what is fucked up about it? Or do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy the madness of mm -hmm. it? Or you how you you do prioritize your sleep? Uh, how how's that? Great question, bro. Uh, so you you definitely do some touring soon. Um, Appreciate that, mate. It's, it's happening. It's, it's, it's going to happen. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, the one thing uh, that there's, I mean, there's a few things, but one, like, bro, my, I'm quite concerned about my carbon footprint, bro. <laughs> um, like, obviously, it's a blessing to be traveling so, so much, but yeah, yeah, I need yeah. to plant some trees or something. Uh, two, yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes you're in and out, man. Like, I've done gigs where you're like, you, you get somewhere, <laughs> you see the hotel That's lobby, it. you have a shower. You might not even get have time to have a shower. Head to the gig, do uh, the gig, sleep for a couple hours, and you're gone. Like like, there's been a couple of those kind of ones where 
I've gone somewhere that is really cool and then I've not seen any of it. Um, wow, fair, yeah, but yeah. but mm. with uh, alongside that, mm. like it does give you a little taste of a lot of places, mm. man. It's like mm. really really opened my eyes to a lot of different cultures and stuff and and like um yeah food yeah, it's a big thing for me man I always try to have something local you know yeah I mean? like, yeah yeah, like, yeah. Um, try try to like make the most of my time yeah um so yeah i'll go for a lot of walks like try to try mm. to maybe go to a museum a gallery something like that if there's time yeah sometimes you will have time but um yeah also yeah. man like it's yes yeah, it's, it's great going around the world and meeting a lot of people bro like um super inspiring to to meet people from all these different cultures and backgrounds and yeah and uh like if you do get the chance to play with some of these guys it's great that, like that's a big big plus side so me and my boys yeah. are always looking for like little jam sessions mm -hmm. or like yeah where, where are the people playing tonight can we check out another gig or yeah. is there another band playing at the festival that we don't know let's go that Sick. kind of stuff yeah 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 man i have so many questions to ask regarding that um i was about to say so like about with Nubaya, do you guys like write? How is the the songwriting process? Just to bring some stuff and then you guys mm. do do some of it, or is it always in the? I'm guess you, you know it's a mixture, isn't it? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. and blah blah blah. Yeah, well, <laughs> also with the the. The, the other guy you playing as well a lot with uh um, yeah, 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 yeah 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 so how's so, the writing process on that so actually with them like nabai is an amazing composer and she like pretty much like through composers her tunes before she presents them to us like mm. she'll give us melody harmony and like she'll give me like a like a rhythmic framework to work from okay but then i guess the, like the creative side of it which she does really like afford us a lot of creative like license with it is uh, yeah when it gets to playing the tunes it's like okay now you know what i've written and you know how the tune goes and you know how i want it to be presented because it is her it's like it's not it's not a band it's like it's nabai garcia yeah, yeah 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 you know what i mean so um and i love that as well it's like it's great having a really confident leader it's like now nah, this is it but mm. then you get to the gig and it's like okay now do you you want to switch it up this way tonight great cool like like there's tunes that i've played 10 different beats on just depending on what <laughs> mood i'm in you yeah know what i mean yeah and she's That's really encouraging jazz, isn't it? yeah yeah, yeah 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 but then some people play with their hands yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, no, i'm trying not to do that so much anymore bro <laughs> but like uh that, yeah, like yeah. she's just super encouraging with the experimentation so that's pretty sick right? that's real cool and yeah. then so um, your voice across as well yeah yeah and then obi's is fairly similar um Mm -hmm. he yeah he'll he'll write and produce the tunes with his producers mm -hmm. and then bring it to you but it's, it's like okay so how are we doing it live and then like uh like a lot of bands like that would have like a singular musical director that kind of is like okay here's the track here's here's how we're going to play it live but we we as a band have been working together so long and mm -hmm. like we've all kind of like yeah yeah it's all kind of interweave now where nice. like myself and kieran on guitar and like and some of the other guys will kind of do that kind of md role but in a more kind of communal kind of way yeah so yeah a lot of the tunes that we play live sound a bit different but mm -hmm. again he's like yeah he's just you he just doesn't flip it kind yeah of. yeah yeah man we like we, yeah. we want the live experience to be yeah like somewhat different to the just playing the records 100%. like it's yeah. it's to me that's more exciting i know 100%. i know some some people love like going to shows where it sounds just like the record and that's cool that's fine yeah, but uh, yeah, for yeah. me i like a little bit more like raw energy or like something like that something know? fresh yeah 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 yeah. i um, feel you yeah i'm definitely on the on the on the like uh, i i remember when i was young and going to see bands i'm like ah but uh you could feeling like i wanted to to be uh, as i heard mm -hmm, <laughs> on the thing mm -hmm. but then i think and then being a more well, become a musician whatever blah 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 and then having this side of be you know making something fresh and bring yeah. this other side of it yeah it's definitely a lot special yeah i think i think there's something to be said for both like yeah like when when you see a live band really really nailing a record like yeah like like it, if it's a classic yeah yeah i mean it, you still got that live element you still got people playing the actual instruments and like yeah, if they're yeah. really smashing it yeah. that's the difference for me i think if you're gonna play it just like the record you've got a really yeah you gotta do that man yeah like, but when you do and like there's yeah there's great bands that i know that that can do that i'm like okay no that's great that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. really really cool that's an experience like yeah it's yeah, the yeah. sound it's amazing 
Ah, solid mate. Uh, let me see anything else I have here. Um, so you, I know you you started producing now as well. You, yeah. you have. Do you wanna make your own? What would be your dream project like? You, Whoa, so bring man. your own your own guys behind you. I'm working you. on it, bro. <laughs> it's, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming um, yeah. I had something that Did I really you? wanted to play, but it's but it's but it's not there. Um, it's not on my stick, unfortunately. But um, I I've been working on a record for a little while now, and um, it's Sick. getting there. And I I kind of feel like it. Yeah, it is my dream record, which is probably why it's taking me so long. Is because I'm very precious over it. But I feel yeah. But um, it's kind of like my kind of response to I guess what's going on in the UK jazz scene, which I I feel like I'm part of. But also bring in uh, like some some of the more club elements that I'm really into. Oh, um, nice. From like when I started getting into DJing a few years ago, like I, I started falling in love even deeper with like dubstep and and house and whatnot, and like mm -hmm. like uh, like reggae dub, reggae dub techno and stuff like that, tech house and whatnot. So yeah. this record that I'm working on has got live instruments, uh, but also like a lot of uh, synthesizers and stuff Sick. and like club sounds that you'd yeah. be used to hearing in that kind of environment. So I'm trying to kind of marry those two things together. And when is it bit. coming out? I have no <laughs> idea, bro. No. <laughs> it's mad because I haven't really told a lot of people about this just because like yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. when it's when it's going to happen. But yeah, 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 basically, yeah, yeah. like also being a touring musician, is, is, is it's kind of hard sometimes like, like yeah, to balance yeah, yeah. the time. Mm, 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 cause, mm. Um, but do you reckon like maybe next year i'm hoping this year this year i'm hoping yeah, yeah. this year for sure yeah 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 yeah. after summer um, or something yeah yeah I'm, try i'm trying to get it done in a couple of months and then nice. like and then we'll see what happens with it solid, um, solid. but i will make sure the world knows and uh, yeah and so we we, we live in a little you know what i'm saying that people are like oh shit so something's coming so yeah 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 you know what i'm saying yeah i'm trying to get out a couple little teasers as well before nice. so hopefully there'll be something coming out like rel Sick. relatively soon yeah some more Sick. club shit maybe and then and then the live stuff will hopefully all come in one big lump. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah, got some great people involved. Uh, really looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's sick stuff. Matt, but the last thing, well, I have so much stuff that, that I would like, would like still to ask, but this one, like, about the jazz scene right now in London, where do you think it's going? And because it is, a, I, I love, I love London because of that. That's a whole fucking mixture and mm -hmm. shit like that. So we can go a lot of places and shit. What do you, where do you think it's going? Where do you think it's right now for you and where do you think it's going or I don't know? No, that's a, that's a great question, man. Um, to be like brutally honest, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm and that's amazing, no isn't idea. it? <laughs> and it is great, man. Yeah, because it's like... It was a lot of Afrobeat as well. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like mm -hmm. the kind of cats that have done the kind of more Jamaican, Caribbean influence stuff like, yeah, like Nabaya, Moses... Mm -hmm. Um, Dion Cross, yeah. uh, um, Sons of Kemet, mm. very, very Caribbean inspired. Yusuf. Yusuf, uh, yeah, I, his mm. his stuff for me has definitely got some of those elements, but he's also like heavily into the kind of like US funk and and yeah. and, and, and like mm. uh, kind of like pre prog stuff. Uh. Like he's like really into like Dennis Chambers and stuff like that. But um, uh, Tony uh. Williams is like late Tony Williams stuff, amazing drummer that. Uh, yeah, famously played with uh, Miles Davis and whatnot. But then his his later stuff, I'd I'd definitely recommend people to listen to. Like the, his kind of seventy stuff that will like help. Solid. Like, that will make the link between that and Yusuf. But um, yeah, sick stuff, mate. But yeah, I think that those kind of cats doing that, like mostly, are kind of like cemented a little bit in their position now. Yeah, I feel like yeah. there's just the nature of the music industry in in the UK and probably yeah. the world is like. Yeah. To be honest, man, there's only so much space for people doing similar stuff. Um, and it's a shame because I wish, like, everyone could have their their little pocket or shine and, like, get yeah. what they want out of it. But, like, it's it's a tricky one when, yeah, when you're trying to do something similar to, to some, like, a group of people that have already done it, it's kind of hard to break into that scene, especially if you're a young musician now. Yeah. Um, and then, and then kind of, I would say, like, stemming out after that, like, you get the kind of steam down, Kokoroko, yeah. um, some it. of those guys doing the more, yeah, African, West African, like, uh, inspired stuff. Yeah. Amazing again, like, really, really cool music. Mm -hmm. um, but then, yeah, the same things happen. Like, most of those bands doing that now yeah. are kind of there, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's, there's not so Get much space. Get to a point that something needs to happen. Well, yeah, it's just yeah. hard for young musicians to break in. So now, I think, 
I think for the the musicians around the age of like mm-hmm. eighteen to twenty one that really now are ready to start making their yeah. own music, yeah, um, will find something yeah that is new yeah and they will create their own space because yeah believe me there's so many amazing yeah 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 so many amazing talented young musicians at the moment that are like i'm I'm going i started going to like jam sessions and stuff and come come to mine hey man yeah yeah sway jazz collective 91 29 living room 29 29 hey that's the one last friday get (laughs) get get to it because i'm gonna i'm gonna try to come down as well actually I i should be about yeah but um like going to these kind of things where the young musicians are playing, man, I'm blown away every every single time. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a bit of London as well. There's yeah, whole, there's one or two every day. Yeah, 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 man. There's a lot of stuff going on, so like, get out, uh, keep your eyes out. But I think, yeah, people are definitely those musicians are going to carve out something for themselves, and I'm really excited to see what yeah. it is. Because this is jazz is coming, isn't it? Like it's. Ezra as well opened yeah. a lot of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open so many doors. Yeah, man, it's beautiful. Last thing, what is there anything you would like to say? Your message, you as a as a musician or as a human, is there anything you want to say? Uh, yeah, man. Um, well, first of all, thank you so much for having me. No, thank you, like mate. You're a really, legend. Really lovely to chat to you today, sick. bro. Yeah, 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 man, yeah. We could could keep going for fucking. I don't know. Two more hours or something. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love you, man. Maybe, maybe we have to get a little drink after that. But yeah, yeah man. Yeah, just yeah. Spread peace, spread love, man. Free Palestine, man. And like, all those good things there, man. Look after each other. And uh, yeah, help each other out. Help someone out that you just for no reason. Like if someone needs to borrow something, let them borrow it. And yeah. then, you know, spread the circle of, of giving and, and love and it will hopefully come back. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's it. Thanks. That's it. That's it, mate. Where do I press play here? This one. Big up, big up, big up. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, we're back with also World Words on the... Which day is it? World Words? 20, 26th of, 26 of, of March as well. On the same week of the jump. Last week of the month. Brrr, get your tickets. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Much love.
Yes. 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 yes, yes. PMC. Radio. Big up. Leandro. Sun. Barrel Jones. This was Dina Kauma Waves. Radio show. PMC. Radio. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. This was Dina Kama Waves Radio Show live here at PMC Radio every other week, basically. My name is Tigas, and it was a pleasure to be here with you. Thanks for listening. And stay tuned because we got two more shows up uh, until 10 p.m. today here at BMC Radio. Big ups. <laughs>